Hey everyone, Meocity here. Welcome back. Today we're playing Dark Ascension 2 again, going into the fourth confession. I think it's called Ambition. We're about to find out. Yeah, Ambition. The house on the um, so, Absolutely. yeah, we'll, we'll let the guy talk really, really quick, and then I'll explain the thought process I have going into this run, the group, and all of that. The walls of the place closed tight about us. And it seemed at times that the outside world was a dream we could scarcely remember. I'm not sure if this has been explained yet, but he really looks like the caretaker to me from Darkest Dungeon 1. And it's been kind of brought up that you guys went to the, uh... Hunted. Harried. At least the estate from Darkest Dungeon 1. So I'm not sure if this is like technically a prequel or something like that, but it's an interesting thought to me. Racist. Oh, that's a cool new weapon I got. Um, so this is a group that we'll be trying to use. I did some test runs and it seems pretty good to me. Um, it does have some things I want that might be difficult to get. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to get everything if not anything for it. So we're just going to have to see what um, we can really do about that. Um, Dismas here is the one I'm not sure how I want to use because there's two builds I have in mind. There's the more versatile but less damage group or less damage one that would be the ranged one for him or the higher damage and more damage over time, but he can only hit a lot less. Um, and we're going to be trying that, I think. And that will be a yellow hand build for him. Um, Baldwin, I'm kind of getting to know a little bit better. So we're going to be trying this, and when we're going into a lair, we're going to switch off Hugh for Rune. And Alhazard here, however you pronounce that name, I'm probably messing it up. Um, I did unlock the rest of his stuff while trying to figure out how to use a group for, that I wanted to kind of test out. And I kind of came upon the rest of his hero shrines and kind of figured out how to use a empowerment build for him. However, it just seems so slow to me unless you get very specific trinkets, which are just so luck based in getting that I just think I'm going to stick to a Hexing healing build with him. So we are going to stick on Ritualist with him. And Virtuoso with Sarmenti because uh, as much as I would like to go Soloist for that bleed resistance piercing and bleed skills cause more crit, I don't want that speed down because he is more here for comboing for Dismas and Baldwin. And then, like I said, Yellow Hand for the... Um, bleed resistance down and positive token stealing and then tempest of course so let's get to this really quick and see what we can do um i'm ho hoping that we can get at least one if not two trinkets fall. and a very specific Never trophy but that would mean at least fighting the leviathan in the shroud once if not twice um, because it would be the bleed damage up trophy. And then I want a very specific trinket from him, which I'm not sure we would be able to get, so that's why I'm saying fighting him once if not twice. I'm not sure this group's going to be good at fighting him, so that's kind of a gamble. And, um, if I remember right, there is a trinket from the Sprawl that would go good on some other people. So, we might try him out too, and that would mean multiple lair fights throughout this run, which I'm not sure is how, how that's going to go, to be honest. Um, so, we're, we're just going to play this by ear and how we feel on some of the lair bosses if we want to do them or not. Because if we're going into a lair boss that I want something from, but we're not in a position to fight, we're, we're not going to fight it. And then the other thing um, is 
kind of right now, I'm a few things are going on. I'm trying a new setup with my PC, so you might hear some noise in the background. Um, do let me know if that happens. Um, it mainly be like game sound things like that. Uh, just it's a comfort thing for me. For mainly when my ears are bugging me for my headphones. So right now, I just have my Messy. stereo playing really low so I can actually hear game sounds and stuff like that. Uh, doesn't seem like it's picking up on the mic, but I'd like to know if it actually is. And if it is, I will switch some stuff around. But just so you guys know that that is happening too. And otherwise, for probably this episode and maybe a few episodes going on in the future, um, I'm, I'm trying to record a few of them today at least. You might notice I'm a bit lower energy than normal, and I'm kind of a lower energy person to begin with. Just because I'm feeling a little under the weather. Nothing horrible happening, but, you know... on record just what, what to expect for this episode and maybe a few more um in the future it's just nothing big just a little under the weather nonetheless not as much energy right now so it's just a thing that's happening so nothing big just uh yeah so we'll get there we'll try to figure out what's happening and we'll try to get to the mountain and ambition so hopefully this group works out so I uh, <laughs> I tried to go keep going after that last one, and the Leviathan had been what we wanted to fight, but was also the lair was literally the first node after the uh, inn, and um, <laughs> some bad things happened. I made some bad decisions, and I think we can beat the Leviathan if we see it. However, that being Every said, um, winding torment. it kicked my butt, so Every now we're back bent on here, and uh, I'm just going to pick up from here after that. As you can see, Shroud is no longer an option, so we will be going to the Shroud for the Sprawl. I want that Greater Guild in mind. I think that'll be a good one. Great cities. Um, All I do think there is a trinket knowledge. there that might also be I good, so we breathe. will be aiming for that just in case. And I think we did this last time, so I'm just going to breeze through these, but fade to black so we can get the combo. And this is going to be a little bit harder on the boss, but I think we can still do it. And we're going to get open... Yeah, open vein. That way we can bleed things a little more. For provisioner, uh, I'm going to grab the orphan wolf cub and the um, radiant flame. Um, as for anything else here, I am going to pick up the stimulants. We are going to grab these whiskey flasks. The rigors of the road. And I don't think I've ever really used the stew pot effectively, so I want to give this a shot. Uh, I know it doesn't really stack too well with anything else here, but it'll work until I can get some other items I want, at least. So let's do that. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. And then as for these, let's give whiskey flasks to Baldwin and Sarmenti. I think they're the ones who are going to need it the most. And Dismas can hang on to the stimulants. And we'll be off and see if we can't get a boss. I do think that there's something there that might be useful.
Behold, the great cities of man, ruined and it aflame. I wasn't paying too much attention. Where is the lair? I have to go up the right side. Okay. Then I don't get the cash. Darn. So we're going to go to the right. And let's do us a fight. Okay, we have those annoying dogs. I think what we're going to do is harvest them. Getting rid of that dodge. Gonna open a vein. This dog goes down on its next turn. We're going to artillery them. And Baldwin. And actually, let's have him intimidate. Incremental, but deadly. We are thing. going to raise our wit. A promising development. Artillery killing the other dog. Comboing him, I suppose. We are going to. Oh, wrong button. That's why I wasn't going. Open vein on him, leading him. He goes. Ooh, that's a stun. Darn. Fading to black. Let's combo him. He dies on his turn. Uh, so let's duelist advance just in case. We're going to pull him. Getting rid of these corpses, and now Baldwin can finish them off. And that's no more pillagers. In this weighty gloom, a spark. Fight, run, or fight. We're gonna do a fight, even though Sarmenti doesn't want to do it. And we're gonna have to watch out for this one, however, we are gonna get the Immolist first. I suppose we're gonna go at that Lashler then. Um. Or I guess it's a whipper. Coolest advance. Trying to get the repost up. We're going to hold them in range at for now so they don't get the other one. And Baldwin can heal. Taking a chunk out of them both. Razor Witting. Ah, uh, we're gonna combo this one, or at least kill it. Early results are encouraging. Dies on its next turn, so we're not gonna bother with it. We're going to missile artillery to put a dent into the bomb. Sacrificial. I can't do a thing to hit it with Dismas, so we're gonna take her out. The work continues. Wrong move. Collaborator with advantage. Our artillery. It 
hoping he didn't move. Dismiss is going to move back for next turn. Uh, I think all he can do is intimidate the hurt of the sacrificial. And we'll get it this turn, so I'm not too worried. Uh, we're going to harvest, making it bleed. Or not. This will kill it. Now we got this to take care of, which we will do. Comboing it, getting rid of the corpses, putting it in front. Measure out your violence. And Baldwin can take it out. Alex and Bobbles. Wanna say trinkets and bobbles, but that's not right. <laughs> I wonder if that was purposeful on their part, because it was trinkets and baubles in the last game. Now it's relics and baubles. Alright, Desperate Few is next. Let's see what we can get here. Anything useful? Alright, that's food, scouting, or in items. I'm gonna go for the in items. Usually something helpful there. Armor repair kit definitely takes the cake. I do want to see what we have available. Fire resistance is going to be very clutch in the lair fight. See the debris ahead? That is where they'll make their move. What else can he... Oh, that's condition. Okay. Alright, we're going to harvest, getting the dodge off of them. Comboing one, I suppose. We are going to open a vein on him, making sure he bleeds out. We are going to demon pull the dog, for when he ultimately watch dogs. Agony. By accumulation. Getting rid of this dog. Just leaving this one. This quickly. We are going to get rid of some stress. Open vein. Getting him bleeding. Or at least dry. We're going to vulnerability hex so we can do some massive damage to him. And let's see what we can do. 36 crit. Very Take nice. Heart, and do not relent. In this weighty gloom, a spark. Okay. I think we're ready for the. Well, as ready as we're gonna get. For the lair. So let's do the Great Library. Not sure how this is going to work out. We're going to need to do the Shaman first. So let's harvest. Philosophy. Reason. Combo on the Whipper at least. That's good. Let's Demon pull the Shaman. Uh, Duelist Advance, just in case anything does go at Dismas. that. And then Baldwin can act. Oh, I messed up. I can't do that. Okay. I wonder if I can do that in between fights. Cooperation is the key. Right, we are going to... Actually, let's inspire and can get some stress down first. Demon pull, comboing, getting rid of the corpse, putting him in range. All good stuff. We're gonna open vein on him. He should die now to bleeding. Bleeding? Not bleeding. <laughs> Excellent work. Ouch. 
steady subtraction. And Baldwin can finish this one. Variable result. Let's see if I can do what I want to do. I am hitting literally any key I can and doesn't look like it. Alright, a few priority targets here, so what we're gonna do is shaman first, I think. Well, technically flayer, but opening a vein on him. Going to demon pull the shaman. Can get one more damage on the flare, he's gonna die. So I'm gonna try to heal. Alright, we got some damage on the shaman as well. We're then going to pull the immolus so we can destroy the corpse so they can't heal off of that. We're going to razor wit comboing. So they both have something to do. We're going to bleed. I guess both fans were not gonna bleed. Cunning. You may outwit them yet. That's fine. Baldwin should still be able to take him out. And this guy still goes. Should be able to take him out, I'm not too worried about that. And damaging the Immolist. Sarmenti is going to de-stress himself again. He really doesn't like fighting these guys, it seems. He probably needs to move back, however. I'm gonna get rid of that dodge. Duelist advance hitting him. And I suppose I shouldn't have done that. Power this thing. Duelist advance again. He can move back for Baldwin. And he may die just from that. Okay. Now this is going to be the tricky part. And first, let's see what we get. Complete catalog apply on crit burning. This is something I thought might be okay for us until we get the bleeding trinket from the Leviathan. And if we didn't feel comfortable fighting Leviathan, that that would be good. Um. Not to mention, if we got the charred litany, that, that would stack well with it. And then a simple flower might also be good on the leper. We also got something to help fight the leviathan there if we need it. And the tinder box actually goes with the charred litany. Apply on hit if flammable item is equipped. One burning, which then stacks with the charred litany. So do four burning, seven if it crits. So that is really, really good. He teeters madly upon his ladder, reveling in the fiery destruction of human accomplishment. So we have a very odd way of fighting right now. Until he gets into rows three and or two and three, we basically have to use the occultist. So I'm gonna do just that and just wail on. I 
I am gonna get Duelist Advance on Dismas, just in case he does attack Dismas. Uh, we are going to use these powders. And then we are going to just move back for now. That's not great. I mean, actually it's not horrible. Um, demon pull, just so we don't damage the books. Now he's where we need him to be. Can't intimidate him from there, but what we can do is move forward for now. That's who I want him to attack. <laughs> Fading to black, combo. Actually gonna start hitting him more now. Uh if we can do this, we can bleed him. I think the books are immune to. Can't open a vein, can't do that, but we can duelist advance again. Coming. You may outwit them yet. This is gonna be a very close fight, I think. Moving back for now. I'm artillerying again. Harvesting. Getting that bleed, maybe. Really? Ah, uh, Duelist Advance. I know that it's because of Dismas' speed, but... <laughs> Alright, now... Now we're cooking. So, let's start going hard. Two rounds to do 50 damage, I think. We can do that. We're going to... Yeah, harvest. And then we're going to combo him, weakening him. This miss is going to open vein, bleeding him, criticaling him. Nice. That's six more damage on his turn. I figured that was going to be a miss, but that's fine. He bleeds for more. And then he bleeds for more. I think we win this next round. So now we're going to bleed him for more. Oh, we can't combo him now. Uh, we're going to heal. Bleeding again. Victory oh, you resisted. No. Press on. Well, we can hit him. Well, he would have if he wouldn't have dodged. An interminable conflict. Alright, we're going to Fade to black, putting him at death's door. I think that's going to be the right move. No. Encoring. Because Dismas can open a vein, putting him... Weird reconstruction healing so he doesn't die. Incremental. He's going to burn the book, Deadly old killing thing. it. That's fine. Then he ignites. I think that heals him. That's not good. We still have like one turn. Coming. You may outwit them yet. 
got a resolute. That's fine. And Sermenti. Resolute. Nice. Buys us a little time that we needed. We're going to open vein again. Beating him. Or we really, really need this to hit. Death door, death door, and death blow. We got him. By the hair of our chin. I'm fine with that. An impressive home. One mastery, fifteen flame, things? and all the stuff we had discussed. Now, I think I'm gonna put all of that on Dismas because he seems to be critting more. Especially when I'm using open vein with that 10% crit. So And then Baldwin can take a simple flower. And that will give Dismas some extra damage until we get to the point where we can get him the bleeding stuff I want. And the Leviathan. And that will also make the Leviathan fight that much easier, I think. I could be wrong. But place of we'll see what happens. And inquiry. A monument it's minus stress, positive perk, that could be career. good. Or trinket and mixed work. We'll, we'll take the trinket. Amidst the spoils, the fuddling of unparalleled power. Ninety percent chance to heal ten percent or stress plus two. Uh, we will we will take that. Chance to heal is a chance to heal. And later on, we're probably going to have ways of de-stressing easier. So, you know. As the world collapses. All right, let's see how this trinket works on Dismas. We are going to fade to black, making sure to put Hatchet Man out. Then going to pull a dog, comboing it. Now two combos. Dismas is going to open a vein for that 10% lovely crit. Actually, he could get 15%, but... I think we're going to go for that 10. And 4 burn. Nice. And the dog goes down on its turn. Yep. <laughs> Empowered. Empowered. Menti can... Razor Wit. Well, I wanted to go at the dog anyway. Bleed on it, it goes down on its turn. So we can... Make sure he doesn't do anything, comboing him. And... Chop. And then finishing the fight up, Doggy goes down. Cut down these nightmares. And sharpness charm. I don't think I'm gonna be using that for the minus speed, but that is good to have in reserve. In case I wanted to slow someone down. Actually, uh Baldwin is Already at minus one speed as Both is. Anarchists. Desperate to exercise their uh, not but... There we go. So since he's basically going last as is, let's throw it on him. Alright, once again we're gonna want to take out that shaman first, I think. However, getting there is gonna be a thing, so let's try to bleed. Actually, no, let's duelist advance first. Harvesting. Demon pulling. Putting him in range, comboing him so we can take him out. Hold one. And 
that is what I wanted. Now I'm not sure those attack backs can put the burning on. And that's what I'm kind of interested in, but... Even if I see, like, a resisted, I'll know. Um, darn, he's back there again. Oh well. Alright, we are going to harvest again. I think the Whipper goes down on his turn. We're going to pull him back in range. Dismiss can take him out. And damage on his turn. He goes down. <laughs> Debuff. Well, we know that can go off on his turn. And he's gonna bleed out on his turn now. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid. I'm having games. fun with that. <laughs> I've raised it with taking him out, and that's a fight. Alright. Stirring snuff. Turn start, gain on miss. Snappy burning damage dealt. Turn start with more than eight speed gain. Huh. I think that might go good on Starmenti. The gain crit. The loathing of yeah, base. Because he's got. Oh, I think he needs more than eight. So we need something that gives him more speed before we can put that on. An elementary problem. Is it not? We'll be going to the academic study. The loathing whispers. And let's see what we get. Relics, books, and mixed work. Or a trinket. Let's go for the trinket. Blood smeared calculations. Turn, start one damage, convert. Dodge to crit, convert, block to empower, turn end, one damage, convert. Excuse me? That's a mini game. Um. Might be able to use that on Baldwin correctly. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure on that one. We, we can try it, though. Alright, so if we want to take out the altar, I'm going to need to do a few things here. So let's Encore, so we can pull it, and then Dismiss can. Uh, I'll raise it, or not raise it, with um... Open vein, I think. That'll work. Yeah, that looks like it should work. Combo for eight, it's bleeding to six. An unavoidable end. We're then going to abyssal artillery them. Getting rid of their tokens. It dies on its next turn. Unless it heals, which I don't think that Alters can. Not right. We're then going to take out the Evangelist with Baldwin. One down. Opening a vein. Got that bleed going. Demon pull the cherub. Not sure it's gonna stay in range, but we do have the combo token on it. Ouch. Baldwin can break him, getting rid of all those tokens. And we can 
fade to black, getting a to combo token on him. He's gonna go, the second evangelist there is gonna go to death sore on his turn. We're then gonna open vein on him. I think he's gonna die. And wanes. Demon pulling the cherub. Razor winning the other evangelist, so it dies on its turn. Just leaving the cherub. I think. They could survive death door. And pop. Cherub down. What happens to other evangelists? Okay. We're good with that. We are the flame. Burning brightly so, for all stain trinket, stun resistance, and not too much else there. The loathing abates. Get what we can on the road. And here is our end. Familiar All right, what perks do we get? The once again. Soldier Slayer, Nervous. Nervous is okay. Plus one speed, especially on Sermenti, is good. Meltdown chance, round start, that's whatever. Dismiss getting plus 30% damage. Amazing. Daredevil. Alright, I'm okay with that. And 20% resolute chance. Really good. I got the Gilded Mind. I think I wanted that on him. Um, really, as good as this can be, if we use it right, it's going to be a really hard to use thing. Uh, and then we're just going to do that. And I really don't see myself using this chalk dust like ever. I know how to use it. I just don't see myself using it. Now for the root, I want to everywhere definitely go to the shroud because there's something here I would like. And if we get all of that, we can move Dismas's stuff to Sarmenti. Uh, Wainwright, we're now using the complete catalog, especially with all of that steel. burning stuff that we have. We're also going to throw on this because we're going to the Shroud. We're also repairing, and we're going to the Provision. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. I think we should grab the whiskey bottles and the whiskey barrel and the flasks. Road to damnation. I also kind of want to get the Songbook of Dirges and the Ceremonial Drum based on how I think I know how the boss works. I'm just kind of looking at some of this other stuff quick. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab those stimulants. Like I said, Songbook, we're going to grab the Ceremonial Drum. Hell, even this knotted rope might not Something be bad. To ease the rigors of the road. And then having... A few of these might not be bad, so let's use these in items quick. I'm going to use stimulating focuses on Dismas, Sarmenti, and L. Not a tug rope on these. Oh, they can't do that. Well, ceremonial drum on Dismas because actually no Baldwin because I think how the undertow from the Leviathan works is based off of move resistance based on how I've seen it say resisted and then it says this thing by it so I I'm hoping that that works if not it doesn't whatever we're gonna de-stress and we're going to get people liking each other we can take out the leviathan I think we're set. Oh, that one was bad. How how bad do I need to fix things? Neutral, friendly, friendly, max. Alright, so just Baldwin and him. Right, and for masteries, how many do we have to do that? Still not many. However, it's more than we had coming in here. And how I would like to use them is a little up in the air. 
think Dismas is okay how he is. Uh, the only thing I'd really like to get more on him is the Wicked Slice with more crit now and Duelist Advance. The rest of it's kind of whatever at this point. So Duelist Advance would give him another repost. Baldwin is good without any. Um, he, I mean, giving him some is good, but it's basically just like giving him more damage and less of a chance to get blinded, so that's whatever. Sarmenti, um, giving him Encore would probably be a good thing, uh, so he doesn't get the weakened, but I think the more prudent thing would be to give a double weakening, and the double, or double vulnerability, and the double weakening, because that gives a double weakening and then removes any crit, and then double vulnerability, so that will make a set on that. Wainwright, uh, there was a thing in here I was kind of looking at. No, there wasn't. I don't think I want the contraptions. So we're going to pick up from there next time we're going to be going into the Shroud. We're going to be hopefully killing the Leviathan for some more trinkets and um, maybe a trophy that's better than what we have. I'm not entirely sure on that. But we'll see. Um, there's two trinkets though that I would like from the Leviathan, so I'll be happy with either of them. Once for Baldwin, um, making him more bleed resistant and getting him more heals and move resistant. Um, anytime he resists a move, it would uh, basically de-stress him. And the other is just for more damage, making this run a lot easier. So we'll pick up from there, hopefully get one of those, and see what happens next time. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please have a good one.